When you're small space hunting, there are many things to consider. See my previous videos on noise level and ventilation. Other equally important considerations include light and view. These are critical in a small space where what you can or cannot see outside your windows will affect how you feel inside. Most small space hunters don't have an unlimited budget, so you may have to consider places that don't have great views. Decide ahead of time what you can tolerate in terms of light and view based on usage. If this is just a room for sleeping, then maybe it's okay if your view is a brick wall and there's low light. If this is a place where you'll be working, then you'll likely want something more. I worked in an apartment where I only had views of brick walls and I couldn't see the sky. I felt so disconnected from the world that I very quickly started looking for a new apartment. My new place didn't have the most amazing views, but I could see the street and the sky, and that connection made all the difference. When viewing a place, learn the direction the windows are facing and note the time of day you're in the apartment. If you have a southern exposure, you'll have a good chance at direct sunlight. Western, late order in the day, eastern in the morning. Also, kind of obvious, but if you're surrounded by a lot of buildings, expect to only get limited light and at specific times of day. For example, my apartment only gets direct sunlight between the hours of 1 and 2 p.m. I suspect, not coincidentally, that was the time of day when the realtor held the open house. Finally, when viewing an apartment, be aware of where the light in the room is coming from. Realtors will always try to turn on as many lights as possible to make the place as bright as possible.